The Melander family's tragic passing after a crash in Franklin County still in the hearts and minds of people all over. And now a motor design company and a friend of the family giving people a chance to keep their memory alive in a different way. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Joel D. Smith. CBS 21's Maxine Rose spoke to the owner of that company about why they're doing this. Maxine. Now they tell me this is a common thing that happens in the racing community, creating stickers and shirts to honor members of the ATV community who have died. But they say it's typically from an ATV related incident. The crash on I-81 Wednesday night, however, an unthinkable tragedy. They supported my business right when they were here. I mean, I have to support them in their passing. And I just feel like, I mean, they were friends of ours and it's just seems like the right thing to do to help them out. The stickers will be handed out for free at the motocross race happening this weekend in Tennessee. The same one Dane Molander and his family were on their way to the night of the crash. The stickers can also be purchased for $5 through JSR Motor Designs, covering the cost of shipping. Stephen says they've already sold them to seven different tracks around the country and have received over a thousand requests for the stickers so far. Here you can see him making the stickers, around 250 of them at a time, giving him the opportunity to hand out as much as possible. And the t-shirts they're making, however, are not yet available, but people can purchase one at the race, which will then be sent home. In the meantime, riders are invited to wear Dane's number 488 on their bikes or helmets this weekend to show their support. They're great people, funny, good, good loving, give you the shirt off their back type of people. And people will also have the opportunity to give a voluntary donation there at the race to give their support. And a GoFundMe has also been set up to help support extended family members during this time and to cover funeral costs. The page today adding that a memorial and prayer will be held for the family on Saturday night at the racetrack. For CBS 21 News, I'm Maxine Rose.